Hello and welcome to HP Calx. I'm Rick and right now we're going to have a quick look at how to use percentages on the Texas Instruments TI-30X2S calculator. To do this we'll be needing to use the second function key that looks like this in the top left corner here as well as the left bracket looks like this located down here and has a second function of percentage. All right, to get started, if we wanted to figure out how much 12% of 1,500 was, we would enter the 1,500 on the screen and then multiply by 12, second function, the bracket, to bring us up the percentage, and then press equals, and we see that 12% of 1,500 is equal to 180. We can also determine how much of a percentage of 880 is 660. To do this, we start by entering the 660 and then divided by 880, second function bracket for our percentage, and then we press equals, and we see that 660 is 75% of 880. So if on a test you got 660 out of 880, you would be at 75%. You can also use this to determine the prices after taxes or after discounts. So, for example, if we wanted to add 15% to 2500, let's say there was an item that you wanted to buy that cost 2500 and had a 15% tax on it, you would simply enter 2500 times 15 second function bracket for our percent and then press equals. This gives us 375 that tells us how much extra or how much 15% of 2,500 is. And then we simply add that to 2,500 and see our price after taxes. We can also determine prices after discounts. So let's say we wanted to buy something that was $3,500, but discounted by 25%. Well, if we wanted to figure out how much that would be, we could enter the 3,500 and then press times 25 second function bracket percent and equals and we see that 25% of 3,500 is 875 so we then go 3,500 minus 875 equals and we get our price after the discount of 2625 Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.